Greetings. This is a solar watch for the 12th of December, 2011. Film eruptions on the solar corona have produced powerful coronal mass ejections which may be headed Earth's way. We're now looking at a split screen of Cactus and the stereo ahead core 2 of two powerful coronal mass ejections released from the solar corona due to film eruptions. Now these are powerful events but aim slightly above and to Earth's left but components may hit the Earth's magnetic field in two and a half to three days time as these are classified as halo CMEs. Now I'm expecting a possible geomagnetic storm to result as we may be receiving the leading edge of these coronal mass ejections on the Earth's magnetic field on the 14th of December. Over the last 24 hours, an array of film eruptions have been noted on the solar corona. Using the SDO 304 angstrom, we see that two of these eruptions were slightly above in an earth-facing position. Now these are powerful solar disturbances and it may imply that significant coronal mass ejections are headed Earth's way. And that would mean that December 14, we may receive significant impact on the Earth's magnetic field and a possible geomagnetic storm the following day. We're now looking at the southern hemisphere with the SDO composite and we see two features on the solar corona that's worth noting. Active region 11374 is unleashing a fair amount of ejecta off the solar corona and some strong coronal mass ejections. Now it's not producing much flare activity at this stage but it will be in the earth facing position in three days time and it will be worth keeping a close eye on. We also have a large coronal hole formation that has developed quite rapidly over the last 24 to 48 hours. This region may produce a powerful earthquake in two to three days time and also worth keeping a close note of. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE and we see that over the last 48 hours two large spikes in this service have been noted. Back on December 10, a high speed solar wind stream affected the Earth's magnetic field sending solar winds from 300 to 500 kilometers a second. A day later, a similar rise was recorded. Solar wind speeds moved from 350 to 550 km a second due to the arrival of a coronal mass ejection on the Earth's magnetic field. Now I'm expecting something similar to occur on December 14 when the coronal mass ejections impact the Earth's magnetic field and a possible geomagnetic storm to result. Now looking at confirmation of the coronal hole formation in the southern hemisphere classified as CH488 using a split screen of Solon.info and also solar monitors 193 angstrom. We currently have 12 numbered active regions on the solar disk at this present time but none of these regions producing anything of significance in terms of flare activities and that's the reason why we have fairly quiet conditions on the solar corona. We're now looking at the intensity gram and focusing on these active regions on the solar corona. The two regions in the northern hemisphere are fairly stable and not producing much activity and is not little report with these regions but the main area is active region 11374 in the southern hemisphere and it's starting to get its act together. Now if we have a close look we see a spot underneath and it's moving quite violently and it's producing a strong interaction of magnetic fields which is unleashing a lot of ejecta on the solar corona so this region needs to be closely monitored as it may produce strong flare activities in the coming days. And that's my solar watch for the 12th of December, 2011. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Thanks for watching.